Hey guys, here's Destruction here, and today I will be showing you how to back up your already modded game so that you do not have to mod it all over again from scratch, saving you hours of modding. So, with, without further ado, let's get into it. So, first of all, what you want to do is you want to go and make a shortcut on your desktop, just call it Backup. Then, what you need to do is... What you need to do is you need to go into your Xenoverse main directory, okay? What, how you can do is you can either right click on the icon and click open file location. Or you can just go to program files, steam, steam apps, common, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Here's where you want to be, in the main directory. So, what you need to do is you need to right click, 7-zip, and you need to zip your data folder. And I'm going to skip to the end of the uh, zip file so that you guys don't end up sitting here for, for hours. Okay, see you soon. Alright guys, it's about to finish. Alright, so what you want to do now is just drag that into your backup folder or wherever you want to put it. It doesn't really matter. Alright, so next what you want to do is you want to go onto your your uh, uh, your folder where it says your name, mine says shadow because that's what it's called. Then you need to click on view. Make sure you do this otherwise it won't work. You click on view and you go to the right and click on the little arrow at the bottom that says options. Then you click on change folder and search options. Then what you need to go is go on the, on the view tab and then scroll down where it says show hidden files, folders and drives. Click on that and click apply. Then what you need to do is you need to go into the app data, then roaming, sc scroll all the way down until you see XB, V2, INS. You want to zip that as well with 7-zip. And 7-zip will be provided in the description for people who do not have it already. Okay, so now you just drag that into your backup folder as well. And for those of you who don't know, uh, I'll show you how to backup your save file as well, in case it does get corrupted in the future. So what you want to do is you go into the Steam folder, Click on user data, then click on your account ID, and I think it's I uh, okay, it's click on this one eight eight three seven one ten. Then you click on local. Okay, so it's not it's not that one. If it's not that one, it should be one of these these which have your Xenoverse 2 save file. Ah, oh, here we go. So it's 323470. Then click on the remote folder and then Xenoverse 2 folder. And that's your save file. And you just copy, copy and paste that into your backup folder. And that's pretty much it for backing up your, your mods. Now I'm actually going to show you how to apply, apply your backed up mods in case in case your game breaks in the future from installing a mod so first what you want to do is you want to delete delete your data folder you want to delete that because you you don't want to uh, you don't want to replace anything there because you're going to run a backup anyway then while that's deleting you go to your your name Mine says shadow. You go back into app data. You go to roaming. And then X32 INS. You want to delete that as well. Okay. So you just keep these two folders open. Right. To run your backup. What you need to do is you just need to. 7-zip. Open archive. And just extract that back inside of there I'll I'll skip forward so you guys don't have to wait for that 
Okay, guys, it's uh, finished now. It should be copying into that folder. Just give it a second. Yeah, uh, the reason why it's taking so long is because it's. I've got like literally 10 gig worth of mods installed there. Okay, there we go. So, now that the data is back in your Xenoverse folder, now what you want to do is you can you can close that, you don't need that open anymore. Now in your roaming folder, you want to extract the XV2 INS back into your roaming folder. Alright, and then that's pretty much it. That's how you back up and load your backup again. The reason why I'm showing you guys the tutorials is because uh, you could mod, you can have loads of mods installed, but you can install a mod that literally breaks your whole game. So best thing to do is, before you install a new mod, make sure you back up every single time. And if you do that, you'll never ever break your game again. That's why when we stream, our, our game runs smooth, there's no crashes, it's because we keep backing up over and over again to make sure it's all working. And yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to load into the game now to show you guys that it's actually actually worked perfectly. All right, see you guys in a sec. So guys, uh, here I am in the game. It's all working perfectly fine. Backup works 100%. Also, um, if you've run a backup and you don't find skills in your inventory, if that happens, just go to the skill shop or the item shop and all your stuff should be back in there again, if, if that happened. So that that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, here, this is, was a tutorial of how to back up your game and run a backup. I hope this is very useful for you guys because it's it, it's extremely helpful for me. All right, so that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, ho hope this helped, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Haste destruction out.